Okay guys, I've reached the end of that row. I'm going to chain one and turn the work. Now we're going to be doing some increasing on this row of single crochet and only for this row. So, if you are plus sized like I am um, and you feel you need some extra flair for the bottom section, then please go ahead and add an increase in every fifth stitch. If you don't need that much flair, add your increase in every tenth stitch. So stitch count is not going to be mat uh, not going to matter. Um, this is the only row that will have increases, but um, more increases if you are plus size like I am, um, less increases if you don't need all of uh, that much flair. This is simply going to create a bit of shape to the cardigan. Um, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to crochet, single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And with that fifth one, I'm going to place an extra single crochet. And then one, two, three, four, and five, and place an increase there. Like I said, place an increase in every fifth if you need extra coverage for the bottom. Uh, place an increase in every tenth if you don't need all that much uh, coverage. So go ahead with your increased single crochet row, um, and then we'll meet up again for our triple crochet. Okay, so at the end of that increase row, I'm chaining one and turning my work. And now it's going to be quite straightforward going ahead from here. You'll simply be doing your, <coughs> excuse me, triple crochet rounds followed by single crochet rounds. There'll be no increases after this, um, but I will complete this, uh, I think, two rows just to show you the the new shape that is forming um, and then you will continue and finish up your cardigan to whatever length you prefer. You can even turn this into a longer coat if you want. Uh, you can finish and just leave it as a crop top. This is completely up to you. We will then uh, do a border to finish up these edges nicely. And that will also only be done in single crochet. So very straightforward. And then I'm going to give you two options for adding some sleeves. Uh, on one side I will be doing the sleeve that I prefer and which is the one that I did for my cardigan and on the other side I'll show you a different type of sleeve same stitch work just a different way of joining and it's going to alter the look of the cardigan ever so slightly so let's now continue with our triple crochet I'm gonna go ahead and do two or three rows of triple crochet just to show you the shape of the cardigan and then I'm gonna leave you to finish up the length uh, that you prefer so let's meet up um, just in a little bit Hey guys, I'm back. So I have finished up my three rows just to show you the shape of the cardigan. Um, the shape that it's taking now. So I hope that you are finishing up uh, your cardigan to your length that you would like it to be. And then once you have that length, I want you to finish up on a row of the triple crochet. I don't want you to add the single crochet because once you've finished up and you've reached your length, your desired length, we're going to immediately start with our border to clean up these edges, to add some trim, and then to finish up with um, our cardigan. So, let me just grab my plus size one. All I did for my plus size cardigan was add a, a border of single crochet and I did that for five rows. It's really, really simple, but it gives a nice clean look to the garden, 
to the cardigan sorry so that is what I'll be showing you so to work into these stitches I'll be switching to my smaller hook size my four millimeter once again um, we are at the uh, bottom edge here and we'll be working upwards so I'm going to chain one and in that very first stitch I'm going to do uh, place a single crochet and in every treble cro uh, triple crochet we're going to place two single crochets right into the stitch we're going to get there soon then in the row um, the single crochet row we'll be placing a single crochet on this side and on the other side so first single crochet then into that first treble into the stitch I'm placing a single crochet and I like to go through two loops and I'm placing my second single crochet then into my single crochet row one single crochet on this side and then one single crochet on the other side right through the triple crochet one and two stitches there single crochet on this side of the row and on the other side and that is just how I'm counting. I'm basically counting two, two, two all the way around. Um, once I reach the neckline, there'll only be one single crochet in each of those uh, 10 stitches that we left open there. And on the other side, we're going to start again counting two, two, two. That just gives me um, an idea of uh, where I am and uh, keeping my stitch counts uh, more or less even I'm um, I really don't like counting stitches you will notice that <laughs> um, that's just not the way I design uh, anything I don't I'm just yeah I'm just comfortable doing things my own way and I don't really follow rules so uh, if you're not comfortable doing that and you feel the need to count everything then do so and make little notes for yourself um, I just basically fly by the seat of my pants and I just create and um, I keep designing redesigning frogging ripping out everything until I am satisfied and the end product is what I will bring you in my tutorials and I hope that you guys are loving your work so far <laughs> um, and that you're enjoying this tutorial so go ahead place your single crochet right around the work I'm gonna meet up with you um, I think you're in the corner uh, so that we can just work around and then we'll simply be following all the way around till we meet back up with us start over here um, but let me meet you at the top of the neckline so I'm at the top of the neckline I've placed a single crochet in that row of single crochet and now I'm heading over to the neckline we we didn't work into those 10 stitches and I'm simply going to single crochet in each and every one right across to the other front panel And at the trip, uh, triple crochet again in one and two. This is the single crochet row before the row, after the row, into the triple crochet again, and then into the row before the single crochet, into the row after that single crochet row, and then one and two into the triple crochet. Oh, my arm is stuck. I am at the bottom of the other front panel and I'm about to head into the corner. So into that single crochet I'm going to place a single crochet I'm going to chain one 
place another single crochet into the same stitch just to turn the corner and then I'm going to switch back to my bigger hook because we finished uh, with placing single crochet into the triple crochet on the edges so everything from now on should follow along a little bit better I'm going to just go right around the bottom edge and I'll meet up with you when we are ready to join again um, and then I'm going to leave you there but, uh, with instructions so let's meet up at the end of this row Okay, I'm at the end of my row and I've placed my last single crochet and I'm just going to chain one before I join to that first single crochet we made and now for the next row and every row after you'll chain one and immediately single crochet in that corner again and you're going to be doing four more rows or if you want uh, an extra couple of rows of single crochet feel free to add them um, this is just to create a bit of a border to your garment I'm not going to go ahead and finish up with this um, because those are your instructions carry on with four more rows for a total of five for the edge of your garment and next let's move on to the two types of sleeves that you may add you can also choose not to add any sleeves and then simply work again a border of five uh, single crochet rows on these edges you now need to try on your garment determine how wide you want your arm hole to be and if you want to leave it uh, as open as it is for a kimono type sleeve which is actually a sleeve that I like um, you may do so if that is not the look you want and you want a, a, a tighter fit uh, tighter fitting sleeve go ahead take your measurements and then <clears throat> let's seam up uh, from the bottom here let's just turn the garment inside out and let's just pretend that I have measured the sample piece and I'm going to be seaming up uh, for instance these two rows so I'm just going to show you how to do that again with your smaller hook grab some yarn put on a slip knot and we're simply going to be doing a tiny row of uh, slip stitches so slip knot on your hook you will have taken the measurements for your armhole so pretend I've done that and I've decided that I want this section to stay open for my armhole and I'm going to seam up this uh, two rows over here I'll just be joining anywhere on this side and grabbing the same stitch on the other side for a slip stitch oh, and this is why I'm using a smaller hook size just to get through there keep grabbing something else give me a minute let's try this again much better slip stitch and then just through your triple crochet into the corresponding one slip stitch same triple crochet same on the other side Try to work through the stitch and not around the stitch otherwise the seam will become really visible and that is not the look we want for this lovely garment so I've now worked through the two rows of treble and I'm just going to finish off on this single crochet row and that will be my armhole my side seam is hardly noticeable that's it over there because we work through the stitches and not around the stitches and this is why I started the cardigan in this fashion I wanted whatever seam 
that they might be in the cardigan. I wanted it to be as short as possible so that it will be hardly noticeable when you add your sleeve and you're wearing your garment. So this is what your side would look like. Um, this is all that will be visible, uh, well, hardly visible under the arm. Um, and this is the rest of the cardigan with absolutely no seams. So let's do the same on the other side because I'm going to be attaching. No, I'm actually not going to finish up this one. I'll just be doing a sleeve over there. And for this one, let's do the sleeve that I preferred the sleeve that I'm going to say it's a, a bit of an intermediate uh, <laughs> uh, joining method not an intermediate stitch or anything like that because we're using the same stitches we've been doing throughout this project just the manner in which we join the work might be a little bit tricky for some but it's not uh, it's not too difficult if you just follow along so again uh, not with my smaller hook, with my uh, hook that I've been using throughout my four and a half. I'm going to place a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to join just in the join where we just uh, finished our work. And I'm going to just do a single crochet there and then I'm going to chain up now you need to determine how long you want your sleeve to be if you are using this method you want to measure you want to try on your garment and then you want to measure down your arm uh, to however far you want your sleeve to go now I chose a sleeve that covered um, to just over my elbow that's just the length of sleeve that I enjoy and prefer for myself if you want it longer by all means go ahead and measure and the amount of chains that I did that I added for my garment was 26 remember we always add one extra for the turning chain so for this one I'm just going to be adding uh, 16 just to finish up the tutorial very quickly. So one, two, three, four, and five, 10, five, six. Now we'll be working back and you'll see that the row that we wanna work is our triple crochet row. We're working backwards and this uh, the row that we'll be working will be right side facing as well so that is what we want to start on so into the next chain we'll do our stack single crochet to reach the height of our triple crochet Continue down the row till you reach up with your join once again, and I will meet you there. Okay, guys, I'm back and I'm at the end of that chain that I just worked down, and I have my 15 triple crochet, and I'm ready to join to my uh, front panel here for my sleeve. And I want you to be careful as to your placement now. So this is the single crochet row that we did, but we don't want to join in here. We want to join just above. So in that row, sort of uh, where we placed our first uh, triple crochet into the single crochet row. These are the single crochet stitches. We don't want to work in this bottom over here we want to work just above you'll see the little holes over there and we want to just go into that first one for a slip stitch and pull through and now I want you to be careful as to how you turn the work take this little flap and turn it to your left so that your yarn stays on that side of the of your hook and in that first tri uh, triple crochet do your first single crochet don't bother to chain up one so single crochet one you should single crochet for however many triple uh, triple crochets you have down uh, for your sleeve so for me it's 15 so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that that's two three four five 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Chain one, turn the work, and head back for your triple crochet row. And let's meet up again once we are ready to join to the front panel. Now I'm almost at the end of my row and I have my 14 triple crochets and my 15th one is going to be placed into that uh, first single crochet but remember we didn't chain one so that little stitch is ever so slightly hidden so please take note to find the two loops and finish up your last triple crochet let's join once again not into this bottom but into the bigger hole for a slip stitch turn the work but not your yarn keep your yarn on that side immediately work a single crochet and then continue down your row for whatever your stitch count is for me it will always be 15 And then repeat so I'm gonna leave you now if this is your preferred method like like it is mine for adding a sleeve I'm gonna leave you to finish up your section for your sleeve and when we are ready to join to this bottom part when uh, that is where I will meet you and finish up this sleeve and also show you what that join looks like so finish up the sleeve if this is the one you want otherwise uh, just give me a moment and uh, once I finish the sleeve I'll show you the other method of adding a sleeve it will simply change the look of the cardigan um, but it might be an easier option if you find this joining method just a little bit too difficult so I will meet you once we are ready to join up our sleeve Okay, so I have finished with my last row of uh, tri a triple crochet and I'm joining it to uh, my body for the last time and I'm still going to finish off with a row of single crochet and then we are simply going to seam the two parts together. So let me quickly go ahead and do that with you here. You now want to just flip everything inside out and because my ball of yarn is huge it's not going to come through uh, the hole so I'm just going to cut off a length just to allow myself to finish up this edge for you And we are simply going to slip stitch the two parts together. So single crochet on the other side, grabbing that yarn and just pulling it through for my first slip stitch. And slip stitching all the way down. Just to seam up our sleeve. Go ahead and do that to the end of your row. Turn the work back inside out and then join yarn into the seam area and add your border of single crochet for also however many rounds you did for the whole of your cardigan. 
um, whether it was five dose, six or seven, you would have determined that uh, when you were finishing up that section. Um, and then let's head on over to, if this is not the sleeve you decided to make, uh, let me show you how to make the other type of sleeve. Um, yeah, it's just going to alter the look of the cardigan, but the uh, same stitches will be used for that sleeve as well. They'll just look different because they won't be worked uh, the same as the whole of the cardigan. So, just putting my last slip stitch through there, cutting off my yarn. I'm not going to bother to weave in ends right now since this is my sample piece. You would have to weave in all your ends. I just want to show you what the sleeve looks like with the joining method that I did for it. I hope you guys can see that clearly. So this is where we joined our sleeve and I had hoped that it wouldn't be too noticeable. So if this is the the sleeve join that you would like to do, go ahead, follow the tutorial, and this is what your cardigan should look like at the end there. But if that one seemed too difficult for you, let's go ahead, join in some yarn on the other sleeve. I've not bothered to do a seam for this one. Um, I'm just going to make sort of a kimono type sleeve on this one. So I'm going to join into the bottom here, into this seam or join with a single crochet. And I'm just quickly going to single crochet right around and I think I'll use my smaller hook. Again, just like we did for the front of the cardigan, two single crochet into the triple crochet, two single crochet, one before the single crochet row, one after the single crochet row. Do this right around um, and then let's start with the sleeve. So I'm right back at the beginning and I am going to slip stitch to that first single crochet. Switch over to my bigger hook, single crochet back in the stack, another one and two for my first uh, triple crochet and then triple crochet right around into each uh, single crochet that I just made. And this will be this, the second sleeve option that I'm showing you. So, triple crochet for one round, followed by single crochet in the next, followed by triple crochet. Alternate those two rows for as long as you would like your sleeve to be. I'm going to do two rows of triple crochet and two rows of single, and then I will come back and show you what that looks like so far. Because I'm back at the beginning and I'm joining to my first triple crochet with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn the work and work our single crochet back towards the beginning. Right guys, so this is the alternative sleeve option. Um, you will then also just follow along in this manner for however long you want your sleeve to be, ending with the same amount of uh, border single crochet rows that you did for the front of the work. Um, yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you have fun wearing your new cardigan. Um, I'll also, um, I'll include some pictures of, or maybe just a short video on what my plus size cardigan looks like on one of my mannequins. 
um, and then I will follow through with a tutorial on making some pockets for your cardigan and then how to attach them. So guys, do look out for my next tutorial. I thank you for being with me today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.